What's up, guys? I'm Crazy Ike. Welcome back to To The Moon. So last time, Joey died, passed on, went to his next life in front of Johnny and his mother. We found out that Johnny took beta blockers to destroy the memory of losing his brother, probably destroyed the memory of his brother entirely, and his mother started calling Joey as Johnny, or Johnny as Joey, and uh, I guess that was her way of kind of coping with what she'd done. Yeah, I mean, when it, when Ava's just like, or Rosaline or whatever you want to call her, was just like, oh, you know, it's so peaceful here. I guess it's not that bad after all. Then it was like, uh-huh, something bad is going to happen. But what bad thing was going to happen just was kind of anyone's guess at that point. And of course, that heartbeat is just like reaming in my, the back of my ear, being like, yeah, you remember that kid died. Just, just wanted to remind you in case you somehow forgot. All right, so I can't examine. Wait, hang on. Nope, never mind. I didn't see that before. Can I? Nope, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Oh, it is not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Yeah, it saves me if I have to find memory links walking around that, you know, scary ass place. Hey, kids. It wouldn't surprise me if the memory was, uh, or the, the desire to go to the moon was actually Joey's initially, and then Johnny carried it on after Joey had died. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just a wicked awesome. I've already powered, plowed through three books straight. Is it Animorphs? What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like this, rawr, 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 rawr. And then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Stop that. <laughs> At least the kid's having fun. Johnny's a bit of a stick in the mud. Just watch, Johnny. One day I'm gonna be a famous writer. Ouch. I'll write the coolest novel on the block and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy us both, uh, buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. It makes perfect logical sense. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. You're such a downer, Johnny. What, you're still mad about the other day? Oh, come on, I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Yeah, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter, and the time we went fishing, and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just give me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbors. <laughs> what, confuse them by being in two places at once kind of thing? Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain, come on. It seems like Joey's way more like a kid than Johnny is. Note on Animorphs. Whoa, that's some memory link shit right there. Let's see here. Uh, Animorphs. Joey's favorite childhood books. Yeah, that kind of changed because it used to say Johnny's. All right, let's see what's in here. Train. Not enough memory links established. What? But I have all five. Wait, what? That, I think that might have been a bug. Oh, boy. They're going to be really young here. Is this a carnival? Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Aw, oh, you ruined it. So I'm guessing we need to find them. There they are. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey went at fair and square, didn't he? 
But I won too. He just went first. Hey, it's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Okay, you dumplings. Don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. It is kind of a silly name. But then again, we have names like, oh, you're my honey bun. You're my smoochy pooch. We, we make up weird names for people, especially kids. You know what? I'm going to call you Dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Whatever you say, Dumpling. Let's see. Ah, yes. Fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one, a doctor. Oh, my. Come on. I'm getting both of you treats. Yay. I'm going to treat you for the fact that some random stranger said you're going to be successful. Hey, where, where's my tip? Yeah, that's right. That's what you get for lying. Okay, let's see. Um... Oh, hi there, bunch of kids. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. I find it kind of funny. I kind of care. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to make memory links from various things around here, so we'll talk to these guys too. Fruits, fresh fruits, apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. And yes, a tomato is a fruit. Really, Dr. Watts, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this right now, okay. Uh, yeah, they are. They're the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take cooking very seriously. Not seriously enough, apparently, if you still think they're freaking not fruits. Hey, is that whack-a-mole? Whack a what? Whack-a-mole, you take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes? Uh, yeah, definitely use mouse. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, this is gonna be terrible. Uh, boink, boink. Okay, fail. How am I doing? How am I doing? Am I winning? Am I winning at whack-a-mole? Am I the best whack a mole -er ever? I think I am. I think I'm almost guaranteed the best whack a mole -er ever. I don't even know how many points I have. It doesn't say on the screen. It just gives me a timer. I want to know how well I'm doing. I'm amazing at this. Right, guys? I'm the best at this, right? Go, 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 go. Wait, that was a pink one. Why was that one pink already? Eh, it was like I already hit it before it came up. Go, go. Two seconds, one second. The last one. I got it. Time's up. What did I win? Let's see now. Out of 45 total target appearances, you struck 56 times and made 43 successful hits. 43 successful hits is not bad out of 45. It's a 95% hit rate. It's your new record. All I get is a memory link? That's bullshit. Okay, I gotta get my fortune told. No, fortune told in front of the stand. Thank you. No way, I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'd be screwed either way. Really? Not even dark, not even Rosalina's gonna do it? All right, fine. Who needs you anyway? Okay, let's see. What else can I do here? Barbecue? Can I join in the barbecue? I cannot. Well, that's unfortunate. How about... What's down here? There's more stuff down here. And there's a stage performance, I think. Is that what that is? Maybe. Yay, I got one for exploring. Yay. There's gotta be more stuff though. More actual stuff. Oh, here we go. Hey guys. No, here, there. Yes. Mm-mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky, pickled olives. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. No, I don't want to even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Nah. I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground, not an inch too far. Bye, Johnny. Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. <laughs> True enough. Very possessive. It's kind of interesting. It seems like um, Johnny has kind of, whoops, kind of took over living Joey's life, if you know what I mean. Like, not literally speaking, but he kind of started enjoying all the things that Joey did. He enjoyed the Animorphs, the pickled olives that weren't things he liked before, so... 
It's almost like he just lived as Johnny. And his mother even called him that. Or lived on as Joey. And his mother even called him that, so. Can I go over this way? I need to find the memento at this point, because I found all the memory links, so. Over here. Sup, Johnny? Where are you going? Where are you going, Squirt? Come back here. He's mad because of the train thing, I think. Can, can you go over further? Thank you. And go up. Way to follow Mama's orders, huh? Yeah. But he's mad. You can't expect him to, you know. He's a kid. I mean, I don't know how old they are here. They're at a carnival and they're fighting over toys. Six, maybe? Five? Maybe even less than that? Oh, wait. What did you see? A rock? It's a rock, kid. It's not exactly that fascinating. And a river. Cool. And some flowers. Uh-oh. He's getting into trouble. It's fun getting into trouble. Wow. That is a nice view. Reminds me of the previous nice views we've seen. I'm thinking about something. I'm not sure yet, though. Whoa! What's that? It's a thingy. That's really high up. That is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> In case, we wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was this hill outside of the city that we'd stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and he hid the telescope inside the car. It's all good, but when he got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. That's as good a reason as any. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. What is? All these nice memories lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh shit, I told you packs of tigers dwell here. It's not a pack of tigers. Is it Martha? Is it Joey? I, I can't see anyone. Oh, it's River. That was my third guess. So they did meet before that. Hello. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny, what's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Uh, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? So I guess that was the first time they actually met, even though they ended up going to the same school and high school and whatever, and actually, that's where their relationship started. But I mean, way back when, they were, you know, friends. Just look at him. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. Wannabe. I guess she was smart even back then. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? 
They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Wow, mature. Oh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everyone in the world, nearly everyone's named John. And we also call the toilet John, so there's that too. Even in India? Probably. Probably not. What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Yeah, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. But, spoilers! Major spoilers! H have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of the stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Of other things, never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever! Let's see who makes one out first. Um... Is this like a challenge? Am I supposed to find one? Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and st I see it. God damn it, River. Uh, where? In the sky. Uh, but where in the sky? Think big. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. There's way too many stars there to actually find enough to make a rabbit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see it! Tell me what you see. There, right? There's a two ears and head. Uh, yeah, I see it, yeah, mm-hmm. What else? And there, there are its two feet. This is the moment she was trying to recreate in her mind. Yes, what else? And, and the moon! The moon is its big round belly. And it did show the constellation there, but then it wiped way too quickly. Dang it. Thing. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses, stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag? What's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a... thing. I don't really know what it is. It's a platypus. It's the platypus! It's some kind of a weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny? Eh, that's my calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget, or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly! Boom. So I was actually wrong, it wasn't because he didn't want to stay here for River, he wanted to go to the moon with River. Right on the rabbit's tummy! Johnny! Coming! 
Oh yeah, I forgot my hockey sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. If they ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was gonna be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should've known that some girl would come along and turn into a cheese fest. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually gonna do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we're contracted to do. Damn it, Ava, wait! Ava, what exactly is her plan? Wait, where is this? I know you're in here. All right, so we're gonna do that next time. I think the next episode will actually be the last one. So we'll continue on the next one. We're actually finding out some very interesting stuff. I'm actually liking the last couple uh, last couple episodes more than the previous ones because these ones are they're actually finding out more stuff and they're a little more involved and you actually can see some of the emotions of the characters whereas before it was a lot of just like jigsaw puzzle pieces trying to fit into a bigger picture that just, it just was quite slow. But this is kind of picking up for me so I'm quite enjoying this. But anyway, that's all for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. A neat little thing. I'm gonna try not to die so quickly this time. No, 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 not again. Not again, bro. No, bad. Super, super not fun. Oh, oh no, you're kidding me. Okay, well this is super not fun.